Hi folks, this is Richard Doyle here with Be Lean for Life Coach and this is the 10th video in my series, the final video. I hope you've enjoyed this series and really I've only just touched the surface of what's actually in the full uh, program but hopefully it's whetted your appetite enough to come on board so I look forward to working with you in the future. See you later. Okay, let's go then. If you've hung in here with me to this point, you will have learned quite a lot about the impact of what you eat on your long-term health, longevity, and general well-being. In the nine videos so far, we've had a heavy emphasis on what you eat, adding in exercise, stress management, sleep management, the mental side of things for good measure. So at this point, I want to give you a little background on my journey and how I came to be the author of the Lean for Life coaching program. Like a lot of people, I started my journey from a point where I was overweight, lethargic, lacking in energy, probably drinking too much, not sleeping particularly well, and uh, plenty of mood swings, lots of stress. Not a good place to be. Uh, furthermore, I was 67 years old, and um, I don't know whether or not it's typical of that age that you start thinking about your own mortality, but to say the least, I was a little depressed about my prospects. Also, like a lot of people, I thought, if I can only get my weight under control, I will be more healthy and improve my long-term prospects. I'm not knocking losing weight as a strategy at all. And in fact, I lost 45 pounds, but I learned one critical thing. And that is, you don't lose weight to get healthy. In fact, you get healthy to lose weight. And that's a really important fact. Admittedly, I learned the fact retrospectively, but through my program, I'm giving you the opportunity to start off on the right foot and to achieve your goals much quicker and sustain your transformed lifestyle forever. Wherever is a lot further out than you may have come to terms with. Better still, your quality of life will be significantly enhanced. If, better still, your quality of life will be significantly enhanced. If you happen to be in my age bracket, I'm 69 now, expectations of an extended lifespan are quite a bonus. I mean, imagine if you happen to have a similar symptom to what I have when I started out and you're only 20 or 30, you have the opportunity to participate in a truly life-changing experience. Furthermore, you can write off any depressing thoughts that you might have about hereditary genes, because as you will have learned, the, um, these guys can be turned off and never be a factor in your ultimate demise. Basically, in a nutshell, what you have learned so far is that if you eat too many carbohydrates, you spike your insulin. You elevate your body weight set point. You develop leaky gut syndrome. You get systemic inflammation and compromise your immune system. This will lead to non-contagious metabolic diseases like obesity, diabetes, stroke, heart attack, Alzheimer's, and many more, all potentially life-threatening. Sure, they're gonna reduce your life expectancy. If you don't get your sleep and stress management under control, and if you don't exercise regularly, you compound an already bad situation. My Be Lean for Life coaching program includes 10 pillars. They are keto, intermittent fasting, sleep management, stress management, exercise, neuroplasticity, epigenetics, meditation, the quantum field, and spirituality. I have learned that all of these components play a role in maintaining a long, healthy, happy life. I hope that I will be able to help you achieve the same type of transformation that I've realized for myself. The reason this program is called Be Lean for Life is because a large percentage of the population regard excess weight as something they probably need to deal with sooner or later. This is borne out by the fact that 67% of the US population are overweight, about half of which, 33% or so, are actually obese. If you add together the incidences of early death being caused by non-contagious metabolic diseases, that would account for about 70%. Bottom line, society has a real problem with and believe it or not, the majority of the issues can be laid at the door of the standard American diet. SAD, or stupid American diet, as it is often known. Uh, this was developed through the 1950s and 60s and formalized in the 70s, approximately 50 years ago, and is coincidental with the Western world obesity epidemic. 
So as many people have an emphasis on weight maintenance, being lean seemed like a good place to start to get people's attention. In reality, my program is much more than that. But like me in the early days, you probably also think that you can get healthy by losing weight. Let's go briefly into some of the details of my 10 pillars. Keto. This is a form of eating that creates a metabolic state of nutritional ketosis. It involves eating foods that collectively give you a macronutrient breakdown of high fat, low carb and moderate protein. The exact ratios are specific to the individual and will be developed in my program. This will change your body's preferred energy source from glucose, i.e. sugar, to fat, ketones. So mainly, you're going to become a fat-burning beast. Intermittent fasting. You can also get into a state of ketosis by not eating, i.e. Not, not calorie restriction, that will screw things up, but actually not eating at all. So how can you go without eating, you may ask. Well, hunger comes in waves, it's not accumulative, so if you can ride out the wave, you will overcome. It takes three or four days to um, just jump straight in and go for it. Uh, it's uncomfortable, unpleasant, and uh, has temporary side effects, so I don't recommend it. What I do recommend is reaching a state of nutritional ketosis, by which time hunger emotions will no longer exist and then moving up breakfast, eventually reducing your eating window to eight hours. The 16-8 ratio is technically intermittent fasting and the combination of nutritional ketosis and intermittent fasting is referred to as healthy keto. This is where the transformation begins. Sleep management and stress management and exercise are all complementary disciplines and further enhance your transformation as you progress on your journey to better health. I'm not going to go into detail here, but these are three disciplines that have a significant impact on your hormone balance, which support and enhance the changes in your hormone balance created by the first two pillars. Neuroplasticity, epigenetics, meditation, the quantum field, spirituality. It will become apparent that what you think you are, you will become. So thinking along the right lines is critical to your success on this program. Remember, willpower, at some point in your life, that was probably a pretty strong. But as you progress along the normal American so societal path, as described earlier, you will find willpower tends to go AWOL. If you are not thinking positively and your willpower is compromised, your chances of a long-term success are minimal, uh, eventually returning you to a comfortable, unhealthy way. Just imagine, you feel great, you have your desired body composition, you have stacks of energy, no mood swings, great sleep patterns, no stress, hunger no longer drives your schedule, food is a pleasure rather than a fuel, and your prospects of living a long, healthy life are enhanced. Sound pretty good? Right. Well, that's what I hope to bring to you when you become a Be Lean for Life coaching client. Hop aboard, and I don't think you'll regret it.